All right, hi. I'm looking at the multi break multiplier. Um, but these are um, these things right here. Those are glad hand air pipes. They have what they call a tailpipe. And uh, when they drive a passenger car, which would be the last car on the thing, and uh, you could dump all the air. This is to gimp the main air reservoirs and then switch them over. It has um, the gas bladder and a gas hydraulic pneumatic bladder in the middle with a sweep door, then a loading jack and two cushion um, hydraulics. It shows two hydraulics here. One on the left, one on the right. These are circular. This is circular. There will be a gap in the in between there. And um, then these uh, pistons are hollowed out. Just skim the, and then the skimmers. And then, um, so this is basically the brake pipe multiplier. I'm building this video for Jack Plant, my professor. Hopefully he can help me finish it. This is what it looks like in... Um, I use surface revolution as you can see this green line in the center was also my uh, center pick along with this graphic line and this graphic line right here I used all types of colors because I didn't want to color one on top of the other and then like be able to not see it but as you can see over here um, let's start at the left corner there's brakes in the uh, here's a round cylinder with a cylinder in it and it has brakes in the walls I tried rev surface um, 360 and then there's another brake pipe which is like a gland hand which I want to be a pipe now do I need to fill it these in the corners or can it do a kink bend um, uh, in the, my CAD site it told me to take the circle here and flip it and then have it run the path I was wondering if I could use sweep easier and then so we have this drawing right here with a blue and you can see the pipe instrument um, PID with homemade valve system that I got there and then it comes with a pipe in it which has an airflow from the hydraulic and um, so I made these all surface revolutions as you can see I want to put in some springs where these dashes are um, the blue is the wall, then another stripper, stripper, streamer, and it shows the pipe. Inside these lines show the hollow piece of the pipe. And then up here, I need help um, doing these side left chambers. Um, so I want to know how to do this with keeping a gap in the middle, of, in between the drawing. Is there some way to trim the red surface? But like right now, I can't really look at it in 3D to do it. But if we were to look at it in 3D, here's what it would look like. Um, notice there's a sole side thing. This sh this uh, pipe to pipe is actually only one half the size of that. Now you can see the orange pipe is on the bottom, which transfers it. And then we have over here, as you can see, the green. There's gaps in it. Um, I wanted a more rounder look than the six zonal lift look. Um, obviously, the outside shell didn't show in this one. So, uh, the blue shell, I thought I saved it with the blue shell. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I need to do the outer shell. When we were working on this one over here, as you can see, the green only went so far around, but you can't really check it. So this blue line over here is going to go all the way around. Please inform me on how to uh, do a hole in the pipe here and then the I need help with the brake pipe and the going into the glass bear that's got to be done to a pipe and then I use some pipe instrument development so basically over here the walls to the cylinder that doesn't look like it's been accurate I need to re-click and claim that one
This is once again the bottom. Working on the right one over here. Alright, so one more time again, Dr. Plant. I need this pipe to be either in a sweep or a path extruded along this pipeline. I was having trouble. I always have trouble when switching, like, um, around in these walls right here. And then over here on this side. So yeah, I need help on these top walls of the platform and then the sweep and then possibly back here at the uh, jack point. It looks like we've lost something in our drawing actually. I'm going to close this down and I'll send it to you on private message.